All right, so I should start a video prior to doing all of this stuff, but I haven't got anyone to set it up for me, so I'll just do it myself. So what I got here is I got ginger, garlic, red onion, and carrots all cut up. Down below, got some red bell pepper and some green bell pepper. And then what we have right here is a red snapper. I think it's a red snapper. We're here in Spain. I'm not sure what it's called. And anyway, this has, uh, I didn't have any of the Nor seasoning, so we use the Magni uh, Wurst, which is okay. So it's marinating in that right now. Cut some slits in it, clean it all up and everything else to clean it to here. And then I got one frying at the moment with the cover on top of it. This all set to the side, ready to get off there. So what I'm about to do, excuse me, is mix in all these different ingredients and I'm gonna make a sweet and sour fish. Let's put a little bit of sugar right there. So I got some white vinegar, sugar, pineapple, and banana ketchup, along with all those other ingredients. So once the fish are fried and off to the side, so I gotta clean up a little bit here, everything is gonna go into this one right there. So I'm gonna do two different ones because uh, I wanna have one more crispy and the other one I'm gonna have it soak up all the heat and sourness. So after that one's done frying, move it off to the side, let it sit and drip the oils and everything out. And then we'll fry this guy up. And probably while that's frying, or maybe a little bit afterwards, I'll get started on the sweet and sour sauce. So the first one that's gonna go into the sweet and sour sauce will actually get cooked inside of it. Well, the second one, we're just gonna cover it on top, put on a little platter over here. So I just pulled down the oil. I cut it a little bit too deep. You don't wanna cut it so deep that it splits open like that. But you can see the skin's all crisp and everything on it. So later on when we put it in the sweet and sour sauce, it'll soak it up. Let me see if I can, oof, effectively put this other one in here without burning myself. Dang, see I lost a piece of the, piece of the jaw. That's no good. No, it's fine, it'll still be okay. So the other one too, I made the, the cut a little bit too deep. This is really gonna splash, so I'm gonna back up. I'm not a huge fan of that at all. Flash cover back on there. Boom. Let that cut I just flipped the fish. Couldn't really show you how because I do use two hands. So I don't like to use the tongs because what happens is the skin just rips off. That's what happened on that one there. So I use two spatulas, both hands, flip it over. And if you do it on the end of the thing, you do that thing on there. Then it'll flip over nicely and not gonna break the inside open. Pull it off there again, but boom. Smoking, I need to remove that. Move these out of the way, get that off the heat, and then I'm gonna throw that pan on there. <clears throat> Alright, so this is nice and hot. I'm gonna do the best that I can with one hand. Some of it might be like a little bit stupid to me. So, put a little bit of oil in there. It's the first thing that goes in. That's right, we're gonna put in onions. So, oh, this is difficult. Right here, I'm gonna pause it. We'll put the onion in. Oh, I guess I don't know how to pause it. Shoot. I'm gonna do this, hmm. All right, onions in there. Okay. Medium high heat. Nice thing about onions, you can cook them forever. I need to do it. always be the first thing that goes down. Because they're going to get nice and soft, kind of juicy, whatever. This is the first time I've had a video of cooking, so I'm actually looking through the screen as I'm doing this, and it's freaking weird. I feel like I'm too far away. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to put in after the onions. Give this a little bit more time. And I probably have the heat too high. Yeah, I can see that from the way the tip of some of these onions are looking already. So after the onion, I'm going to put in the garlic. 
As soon as we get a smell going from that garlic, I'm going to put in the ginger right afterwards. I'm going to throw the carrots in there. And the rest of it, I might need some assistance holding the camera. Let's see what I can do. Start recording. Got it? Yep. Cool. All right, so the next thing after you got the onions, you're going to put in your garlic and then the ginger. If a little ginger gets in there, it's not a big deal. We're going to have this in for a few seconds, cook its aromatic because you don't want the garlic to burn. What we're making is a sweet and sour sauce. With this. I can smell the garlic. Can you smell the garlic, Isa? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. We can smell the garlic. You don't have to put carrots in this, but I like to put carrots. The carrots, again, are kind of hard like everything else, so they'll cook for a while. So then I'm going to go ahead and put in the ginger. liquids and stuff in there. So what I'm going to put in there is, oh, give it a second. I can smell the ginger now. Then these carrots. I could have cut them thinner, but ain't that good. So after this, you're going to put in pineapple juice, banana ketchup, sugar, and vinegar. And then we're going to bring it back to a boil. But you don't want to stir it or anything until the vinegar is already boiled. So, let's start with this. Two cups of pineapple juice. Put in some vinegar. We agitate that in a second. I guess it's going to boil a lot faster than I thought it was. Put in that banana ketchup. You know what I didn't make? I didn't make a slurry yet. Okay, that's not stirring it. It doesn't count. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then I'm gonna pour the sugar in. And while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and make a slurry. Trying not to shake. All right, so brought it to a boil. Get that ketchup mixed up in there a little bit. It's starting to smell good. Add the sugar. It's a lot of sugar. Don't worry, the recipe called for like, I don't know, it's like a cup and a quarter. But it's a sweet and sour sauce, so it's meant to be like this. This is not a healthy meal. This is fried fish and sweet and sour sauce. You're gonna need to run after you eat this, like a lot, and lift weights big and strong. So, kind of cooled down unexpectedly on me, but that's cool. Do, 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 do. Don't stop me now. Copyrighted. <laughs> All that sugar and stuff. I'm gonna bring it back to a boil again, then I'm gonna add the slurry. The slurry is just a mixture of cornstarch and water. Probably made a little bit too much uh, water in there, but that's cool. Hold on, take that back. I'm not gonna do the slurry next. I'm gonna bring this to a boil so I can do the sugar. Then I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna put these guys in. I'm gonna get these peppers cooking, then I'm gonna do the slurry. All right, so that's boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the peppers in there right now. Get some green and red bell peppers. And again, you can feel it. It feels like all the sugar and everything is dissolved in here. I'm just gonna give this a quick minute. I like my bell peppers to be pretty crunchy. So that's so why I put them in last. And get that sweet, sweet smell. So this has pineapple juice in it, but you could actually use like a can of pineapple chunks too, like the big ones, not pineapple tidbits or whatever, because those suck. Or if you can get fresh pineapple and some pineapple juice, good to go. All right, so again, I'm gonna wait and bring this to a boil, and then we're gonna put in the cornstarch. Vale, I got this boiled to my liking, so I'm gonna add my slurry to it, so it'll thicken up a little bit here. Hopefully it's enough. 
pretty sure it is, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm being stupid, I got the spoon stuck in my way. Hold on one second, here we go. So that's the story, it's just a mixture of cornstarch and water. I used about one tablespoon. I don't know, I don't ever really measure stuff super accurately, but I do it works. I know there's a different one, but I just got put in fry oil before, so it's fine. All right, cool getting the desired effect that I want. So, I am gonna put just a pinch of salt in there. I never salted that. And like I said, that, that seasoning, if you use North seasoning or worse or Maggie or whatever, whatever kind of seasoning you wanna use, um, for anybody who doesn't know what those are, that's like that's kind of soy sauce with some seasonings in it, look it up. Um, Shouldn't be flavoring the fish. But I'm gonna give this a little taste. It's super good. All right, cool. Yeah, that's my liking. That's what I like. You put just a little bit more salt in there. Stir that up, and then I'm gonna have the fish go directly in this. I want the fish to soak up all that good flavor. All right, I'm doing everything one-handed again with limited space. So, fish goes in, boom. And you know what, both fish are gonna go in. Earlier, I was just gonna dump it on there and try to do it differently, but there's so much real estate in here. I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah. I guess it's not as much real estate as I thought it was. So, put that in there. Spoon. It's not even a spoon, it's a spatula. Scoop it all up on there. Come on, little fishy. Get up in there, get some sweet and sour sauce on there. Alright. Big old bell peppers. There's that jawbone. You can eat that still, actually, if you fry it enough. You can eat the bones of the fish. Something I learned. Pretty good. I'm gonna give this just a couple minutes on this side and then flip it over. Oh, there we go. Now we're cooking. All right, so I'm not gonna do my two-handed technique. I'm gonna try one hand so I can get it here in the video. But flip it over, again, on the fin side so that you don't, sorry, on the back. Flip it over the other way gonna break open the area where you got your cuts. So, man, I wish you could taste this. This is like better than restaurant quality sweet and sour sauce. It's freaking amazing. I am impressed with myself. This is actually the first time I made this. Usually my wife makes it, but I'm the one doing it today. Um, she gave me all the directions, told me what to do. Followed them the best that I could, and I think I'm gonna give this just a minute and then plate it up. That's gonna be the hard part. How am I gonna plate this? We'll see. <clears throat> okay, so that was a miracle. I got these on the plate without them falling apart. And I ain't no chef, I'm not a cook, I'm just a guy who's really hungry. So, doing the best that I can. I really love bell peppers. So, you. Anyway, that. There's some, some sweet and sour red snapper. I already know it's delicious. Might look, look amazing. See, that's where the, the jaw came off. Burned it out, cut them a little bit too deep. But hey, this is what I'm gonna eat. And I got all this leftover sauce and stuff. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and uh, I don't know, do your thing.